have my It's the Most Wonderful Time of the Year mug. I got it at the Dollar Tree. Perfect for water. Now, brain freeze because that was really freaking cold. I'm just going to clear off some things. And, well, I just randomly woke up at the, sorry, I have so many wrappers from my advent calendar. As long as I get out of bed, I'm fine. Like, it doesn't take me long to get ready. It takes me long to get out of bed because it's the last thing I want to do unless, like, I'm awake. I might go down for breakfast because I don't know if they have water bottles. They should. But they all definitely have water and I'm running low. This is all good. And yeah, how many lights did I turn on? I just wish they had one big overhead lighting instead of all these little ones. They're nice. They light up the room. They're fancy. Mood lighting. But it's just, I need to have lights on. That coat just scared the life out of me. So now I'm just gonna hop into bed. My knee and hip are killing me. I don't know if it's arthritis. It's because I broke my leg in the summer. And I don't know if that's healed. And I don't have a family doctor anymore because his license was suspended. So, yeah, please don't hate me. I literally uploaded <laughs> my vlogmases, or re-uploaded them, I guess, in August this year when I edited them the way I wanted to. And going back and watching that footage was so upsetting to me because, like, I mean, I was not in a good place in August either. I was a bit better. I was in Toronto. But <sighs> seeing how hurt I was and knowing that at least... Like, as weird of a summer as I had, at least I was out of the toxic environment that I was in. And I was free of so many toxic relationships. So, that made me upset, realizing how upset I was. And to this day, what happened a year ago still affects me. Um, yeah, so, it sucks, but now that, I don't know not that you get over it I mean I kind of do um after being diagnosed with panic disorder uh comes and goes in waves I guess but like a lot of it definitely goes back to what happened to me then and um yeah I, it's not that you get over it I just don't freaking care anymore a big f you to the people that hurt me and Never thought I would be in this position right now, but honestly, everything happens for a reason. Everyone was at me all summer to find my dream job and to move on in life, but I'm still so young. I'm 22, I'm living life. Um, might go back to grad school, hopefully, fingers crossed I get in. <laughs> and yeah, I don't think I had to jump into anything because all I've done for the past four years is jump from one opportunity to the next biggest opportunity and it kind of that kind of didn't work out for me i mean i got panic disorder <laughs> um but in all honesty everyone moves at their own rate and i definitely was very successful in university and just because i'm taking a year off doesn't mean that i'm not going to be successful in life people forget to put their mental health first and I was one of them, working 16 hour days, going to full, going to school full time, working a part time job, part time casual job, doing contract work for people, trying to do a social life. You can't, you can't do it all. Um, I learned that the hard way and I actually tried. Like I'm not one of those people that pretends like I did hard work, I took hard courses. And yeah, so. I don't talk about my successes that much just because it's not the kind of person I am but I am a very successful person and taking some off time doesn't mean anything. I'm learning skills here that I 
didn't necessarily have before more hands-on experience and it's not it's not forever and i met people i mean will i still talk to them in 20 years who knows <laughs> but will i still talk to the people that were in my life a year ago in 20 years probably not <laughs> so everyone works at their own pace and i'm still working on uh, getting rid of more toxic relationships but I definitely cut out 98% of them which is a lot especially for me because I am a people pleaser and honestly this video is just gonna be so long uh, I find that when I stop pleasing people they left why would you want that in your life bye see ya let the door hit you on the way out I don't care <laughs> like <laughs> oh anyways that really bothered me but the same thing too like people commenting on how i didn't do anything this summer i mean i traveled um besides that like at least i at least i have my degree and i got it done in four years but it, not that that matters but i mean getting your degree done in a time frame but i just mean i don't think it's fair that people comment on my life when I'm living my best life, um, I'm not paying for this hotel room <laughs> to live in, like, I don't know, it's a pretty sweet gig, and everything happens for a reason, and yeah, thank you for listening to my really long rant, don't know how much we'll make the internet, but I'll see you guys tomorrow, bye guys.